Hello, on Scat here, we're playing Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. We just finished uh, the case of what happened to the Strand newspaper and helped the bookkeeper as well. Now we're uh, gonna continue the story. Let me know if there's any way I can make it up to you. Tell you what, tomorrow's edition of The Strand is on me. Okay, okay, not just tomorrow. A whole week's worth. How does that sound? You're right, I could do more. Next time you move out, I'll be there to help. I'm great with boxes. And feel free to consult my books whenever you like. I could be an asset in one of your investigations. And feel free to consult my books whenever you like. I could be an asset in one of your investigations. He's really a top negotiator. I'm sure Barnes has had enough of our meddling, Mr. Holmes. We best be off. I'm sure Barnes has had enough of our meddling, Mr. Holmes. We best be off. Okay, so this is the first playthrough. If you want to see the clues, just um, go a bit further in the video. Well, that was an utter waste of time. An assassination did seem rather unlikely. There was supposed to be another burglary. I was certain of it. Hmm. Something you wish to say, Doctor? No. Well, only that you have a remarkable faculty for deduction and pattern recognition. And that perhaps, if ill applied, I see things that are not there. Yes. It is London. There will always be burglaries. Doesn't have to mean anything. So it seems. Forgive me. Without something to occupy my mind, I turn into an entirely different animal. Which brings us back to my news from earlier. I think I have a case for you, a real one. Truly? Indeed. Though perhaps not as thrilling as your stories from Cordona, a patient of mine, Captain Stenwick, told me that his servant disappeared. I said I knew just the man to help. What do you say? Oh, Watson. Yes, I know it's not the most tantalizing mystery, nor the story to launch my writing career, but it's brilliant. Let's go. Oh, good. Well, his house is nearby. Come. Stenwick is just down the street from Barnes's book. Shop. Not much further now. Stenwick is just down the street from Barnes's bookshop. Is this lousy attitude of yours because of my altercation with Inspector Lockhart? Did he put you up to this? Sir, the inspector has nothing to do with it. I'm telling you the same thing I tell anyone seeking a missing person. <clears throat> Good day, gentlemen. Forgive the intrusion. Captain Stenwick, this is my colleague Sherlock Holmes, the consulting detective I told you about. At last, a professional. This useless officer refuses to do anything about Kimmy here, my missing servant. What was your name again? I shall be certain to inform your superiors. Sergeant Ruffles. And it's my superiors who made this decision, sir. Why has the police department decided not to help? We investigate murders, thefts, fraud, arson, real crimes. A servant walking away from his master is not our highest priority. That said, if we find him here breaking the law, we'll be sure to notify Captain Stenwick. Have there been other disappearances lately? Of course, here and there. But when life is tough and opportunity comes knocking, you can't blame those who answer. Now, I must be off. Best of luck in your search. <laughs> you heard that, didn't you? The way that man spoke to me. I shall need your written testimony. Then we can lodge a complaint. Captain, perhaps Mr. Holmes' time is better spent learning about your servant, so that he may begin his investigation. Ah, yes. Quite right. Fire away. When did you last see your servant? Kimmy here normally brings me the morning papers, but yesterday I had to get them myself. He must have escaped the night before yesterday. May I see your servant's bedroom? His shack is in the garden. 
You can't miss it. Did you search the room? Of course, but only to check he wasn't lying dead inside. Everything seemed normal at a glance. Tell me about Kim here. He's foreign. A Maori. All the way from New Zealand. Biggest man you've ever seen, and as strong as two. Dark hair and fearsome tattoos. He doesn't speak a whit of English. Never bothered to learn. But I made do with pointing. I invested a lot of money in him, so he must be found. I take it this is the first time Kimahir has vanished? Undoubtedly. The man seemed terrified of the city. I think it was all the noise. He never left this estate. Should he cause any damage, I will bear the responsibility, for it was I who rescued him from savagery and brought him here to England in the first place. Is there any reason Kimahir may have left? I should think not. He had all he could have wanted. Gainful employment, new clothes, and all the cabbage he could eat. Did Kimahir make off with anything of value? Heavens no. I would have mentioned it to Sergeant Ruffles. Still, he must have fled with some money on his person. No, no. I kept his wages in my safe. For security. All right, Captain. I think I have enough to get started. We shall first take a look around the mansion. Go ahead. I'll be here, mentally drafting my complaint. We also unlocked uh, the Cordona suit with the clothes he wore in the game Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. Looks a bit less purple than I can't remember. And also the Cordona suit without the uh, jacket. But yeah, we will keep probably the this one, the green outfit. Okay, we will see. Stenwick makes his servant live in a tool shed. You think you know someone. Why are you still here? Do you think Kimi here had an accomplice in his escape? Yes, Stenwick is no angel, but he's one of my few clients. Please, try to remain courteous. This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it.
Hmm. Looks like a knee print. Chewing tobacco. A shoe print, roughly size 11, with a worn out sole. These are a workman's boots. Someone knelt here. The amount of chewing tobacco suggests they were waiting a while. Amazing, Mr. Holmes, to read the ground like an open book. This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. have left these tracks. They seem fresh. This lock is quite unusual. It appears that the key should be bent to the right. This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. I will not be long, Captain. Rag reeks of smoke. Someone plugged the chimney. This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. A scrap of Hessian. These were sturdy boxes. It would have required a serious blow to break them. Impressive. The sack of grain retained the shape of an impact. Someone hit their head here.
A small navy spyglass. A Maori nose flute. Ngurus, they're called. Clothes are made of hessian. Is Stenwick really so miserly? This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. Is this a Tanifa, a Maori water spirit? Or something else? Either way, it's giving me chills. The ashes are long since cold. A heavy chemical odor. Lend me your nose, Doctor. Ah, I'll never forget that smell after my time in Afghanistan. That's an opioid, Mr. Holmes, a narcotic. Button chops, the remains of a meal. No air coming through it. Someone moved a cart to this spot and then took it elsewhere. Can't see it anywhere in the garden. This lock is quite unusual. It appears that the key should be bent to the right. going with this are you joking why would I know this I came across a pile of Hessian clothes in the shack are they Kimahir's yes I had to give him something to clothe himself he seemed unfazed by his bare skin but I found it distracting the door to your garden has an interesting lock yes I have uncommon locks on every door of my mansion it makes them harder to pick Kimi here and I both had a set of keys. I'll need to borrow them. No, you'll need to do what I tell you to do. 
Examine the garden. Is this spyglass familiar? I don't recognize it. Could it be Kimahir's, perhaps? I doubt it. I never saw him with it, nor could I suggest how he might have come by it. I thought you were meant to be intelligent. Has Kimahir ever indulged in tobacco? No. The man doesn't even drink. Are you certain? I found chewing tobacco in the garden. I controlled Kimihir's expenses since he struggled with the currency. I would have known if he used tobacco. Where on earth are you going with this? Do you happen to know Kimihir's shoe size? I wouldn't have the foggiest. But I'm sure it was enormous. Not that it matters. He spent his life barefoot. Despite my best efforts, he simply did not take to shoes. If you find my man, I have a marvelous whiskey with your name on it. This dreary rain is making a miserable day even worse. Are you stupid, Mr. Holmes? Stop loitering and go and do your job. Are you stupid, Mr. Holmes? Stop loitering and go and do your job. This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it.
Surveilling from afar, the intruder waited for a window of opportunity. When Kimihir went to sleep, the man crept up to the shack and slipped narcotics down the chimney pipe, then blocked it with a cloth. Kimihir inhaled the sedative and fell into a deep sleep. The intruder tried to move him, but the man was heavier than expected. The intruder fell on the sack and dropped his spyglass. In order to transport the servant, he had to use the cart. The final challenge was opening the garden door. Luckily for our intruder, Kimahir had the key in his shack. Remarkable. It makes total sense. Rag reeks of smoke. Someone plugged the chimney. This lock is quite unusual. It appears that the key should be bent to the right. Stenwick makes his servant live in a tool shed. You think you know someone. You'd best have found something by now, gentlemen. You said that you checked the shack earlier. Did you notice the cart tracks near it? Now, one ought to expect a servant to make regular use of such a thing. Indeed, I would have overlooked the detail were it not for the cart's absence. If, as you say, Kimahir never leaves your estate, then where did it go? I expect answers from you, Mr. Holmes, not questions. I found the residue of narcotics in Kimahir's brazier. There are several explanations, perhaps your servant's recreational interest, or an attempt at poisoning. Cut to the chase, Mr. Holmes. I fear that someone may have spied upon Kimahir, likely the owner of the spyglass I found earlier. It appears they were watching for some time, as there was an impressive amount of chewing tobacco on the ground. And your point? I won't keep you in suspense any longer, Captain. Kimahir was abducted by the owner of the spyglass. When your servant fell asleep, he slipped a narcotic into Kimahir's brazier to make him sleep even more soundly. In order to carry a man as large as Kimahir, the intruder stole the cart and rolled him right out of your garden. Now, hold on. 
all this simply to tell me what I already know? Why haven't you found him yet? I only arrived a moment ago. It is, frankly, incredible that I have already deduced so much. Every second you dawdle here, waiting for me to stroke your ego, is another second wasted. I'm not interested in the how, the why, or the who. I am only interested in recovering my investment. Spare me the claptrap, boy, and go and fetch my servant. Uh, the point is, Captain, we're telling you this for a reason. The intruder fled through the garden door, and we need a key to follow his trail. Well, then you should have led with that. Here you go. I hope you'll return soon with good news. And in the meantime, please teach your companion the art of brevity. Captain, you are so addled by delusions of competency that you miss the blindingly obvious. Without the assistance of others, you are utterly incapable. Him here endured your nonsense far longer than I will. Uh, the point is, Captain, we're telling you this for a reason. The intruder fled through the garden door, and we need a key to follow his trail. Well, then you should have led with that. Here you Truly, there is no better evidence of a man's nature than the way he treats those who help him. And you, sir, are a brute. The cruelty of your ignorance about the Maori people, your selfish attitude to a man's kidnapping. Uh, the point is, Captain, we're telling you this for a reason. The intruder fled through the garden door, and we need a key to follow his trail. Well, then you should have led with that. Here you go. I hope you'll return. So oh, the answers didn't change that much in the reaction of the Stanwick. The only Are thing what stupid, it gave Mr. is Stop loitering. I'm going to do your job. He tells you that you look has a thing or two to learn. And also I wanted to see the other reactions of it influenced anything. Stenwick makes his servant live in a tool shed. You think you know someone? What does it say? No seams or torn fabric on this doll. Likely one-legged by design. Welcome to the hunt. Hey ho, street, pig street pigeons and roof ravens. Another treasure hunt is upon you. With a clue in the hand, 
It's up to you to find all those. That's the statue of in game. The treasure hunt. Used to do lots of those in my childhood for myself and is it a call for help? A bad joke. Or both. Better not risk leaving this matter ignored, don't you think? Okay, wait a second. So we're doing the side quest with the door in a separate video. And then we're gonna continue the trail of what happened with the with the kidnapped servant. Stenwick makes his servant live in a tool shed. You think you know someone? Sturdy rope, professionally tied in a Portuguese bowline. This knot is often used by sailors to create a bosun's chair. Wheels picked up grass along the way. Kimahir's cart, I gather. Roy Soulsby. Could that be the name of our man? A strange substance. I have my suspicions based on the color and consistency, but would you care to hazard a guess, Doctor? Well, it's odorless, but from the way it absorbs water, I'd say saltpeter. Then we're in agreement. Well done. A large pile of horse droppings. Many cigarette butts. Someone stood here for hours. There was a cab waiting here. Our abductor slipped in and then off into the night. What are the notable features of the abductor? So if you correct things the correct name the first time you get more evidence points for the bonus stuff in game the abductor is a sailor a particular knot a spyglass and the footprints of a working man's proof they all add up to one conclusion Kimia's abductor is a sailor where does Kimia's trail lead to
Gimme's trail leads to the port of London. We now know that Gimme's kidnapper is most likely a sailor, but that that his wallet bears salt better residue and that there was a recent saltpeter accident in the port of London. Everything suggests that this find Kimia, we must head to the port of London. There is no time to lose. It is vital that we find a cab to the port of London immediately. The strand proved not so useless after all. The saltpeter accident. Doctor, do you recall? The port of London, of course. The footwear, the spyglass. Indeed, we shall need to take a cab there. Let's just go. Stenwick wanted results, not pleasantries. Are you stupid, Mr. Holmes? Stop loitering and go and do your job. So we're gonna end it here, we're gonna have to go to the port of London by the cab just outside the mansion. Don't worry, I'll return the garden key to Stenwick during his next physical. And we're gonna continue that in the next video, so thank you all for watching, wish you all well, see you in the next video.